In a patient with chest pain, we have to distinguish between ischemia, injury, and infarction, which can be very different in terms of the treatment and the possible causes. Now in an EKG on a patient with ischemia, we're going to either see ST depression or T wave inversion. And this might be uh, or is due to lack or inadequate oxygen flow to the heart muscle. It might be reversible if it is treated early. In an injury, it still is potentially reversible, but we are going to see that ST elevation on a 12 lead EKG. And with infarction, clearly that we are going to see that ST elevation on the EKG and the patient might even have what's called a Q wave, which means that there is an injury to the entire thickness of the heart muscle that is evident. So head on over to my YouTube channel to check out more information about myocardial infarction and the different ST and EKG changes.